I was raised in a Christian household, so I went to you know Bible school. I was actually baptized as a child. Um, but I wasn't conscious enough to make my own decision at that time. And then as I grew up and time went on, I just sort of fell away from God and I started making some poor choices. I fell into the wrong crowd. I started doing things that I thought made me look cool. So I was stealing from my parents, stealing from my family, stealing from people who loved me just, you know, to buy the material possessions or those things that were gonna sort of escalate me to the cool kid crowd. Two years ago, I spent three months in the hospital. I was very, very sick. Um, I have Crohn's disease. Um, I got to the point where it was just so much pain mentally, physically, uh, at one point. I was just so distraught and so upset that I had actually contemplated suicide. I had just, I had been so sick for three months. I was so tired of being in pain, physically and emotionally. Um, <clears throat> and at one point I was just, I just wanted to end, end it. I wanted to do anything that would have ended the pain. Um, so, you know, I'd considered some really dark thoughts and thought some really dark things. Pastor Doug came into the hospital. He visited me in the hospital one day and he prayed with me and prayed that I would find peace in Jesus and, um, and then I did. And so since then it's, it's been a ride, but you know, my life's been a little bit easier. I always know that there's gonna be tough times, there's gonna be pain, there's gonna be hardship, but with Jesus by my side, I just know that there's something there and I can get through it. I see myself as a work in progress. Um, I know that I'm not perfect. I still make mistakes, everybody does, but by leading a life through Jesus and through the teachings of the church, it, every day is just a little bit better and every day gets a little bit easier. Since I've been coming to this church, I really feel like I have a whole support group. It's been great to meet people who have gone through some of the same challenges or similar challenges that I've gone and have also, you know, overcome through the Lord and through Jesus. I'm getting married in September, and so with my marriage and my new life, I want to start a new life not only with my fiancé, but a new life with God and with Jesus by my side. My name is Erin, and I've decided to follow Jesus. Woo! <laughs>